What's up, guys? Morpheus and I are here chilling with yeah. Fortunate Youth on the last week of the Set in Stone tour. Super grateful. We love the best you guys. times ever. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> this guy right here. I try to start my day every day. Meditation and this guy, Bob Ross. Tell him, Bob. What do you think about this monkey? About to get on the daily grind and we're excited about life. Family life is the life. Keeps me centered and grounded. Super grateful. Morphs. This is what it looks like now. A lot of work here. It's done right here in the office. As much as I would love to be painting, this is the major part of owning, first of all, your own business and working for yourself. Get ready to get on the computer a lot. That's right, it's show day. We're here with Catch Fire, Mr. Cruz. Setting up for live painting is always a thrill. And the circumstances can always be interesting. Scout Bar, they've always been really welcoming to live painting. I started painting here for some of my first shows. This is our tour bus. We live the life of luxury of traveling live painters. And I'm telling you guys, take a moment to breathe and relax. Ooh, I got a blank envelope. What? That's even like the shape of the canvas right there. Let's do it. We are in love. We found something to sketch our painting out on. <laughs> Here we go, Scout Bar, Clear Lake, Texas. Sometimes all I really care about is it's our setup for the night. We're featuring all collaborations between me and Sam. What's up, y'all? We're here getting ready to go do more shows. I got Rabbit from Mystic Roots in the studio. And this is the situation. One little car and a bunch of stuff. It's back-to-back -back shows every night. Should I grab a towel? Yeah, just like Tally says. Yeah. Always bring a towel. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Ready to roll to Austin. Wes got his towel. Life on the road. This short little trip through Texas. You wake up, you get your stuff ready, you get to the show. Yo, what's up? We're here at Bomb Diggity Smoke Shop in Katy, Texas. Good friends of mine, 
always been a strong supporter of the live art. Life of consignment spots is a very interesting subject. We made it. <laughs> Dude. What are you doing? Good. Good. Awesome. Dave, Adrian, and Fernando, my good friends. This is Dave and Adrian and their beautiful art collection. Uh, Many different yeah, artists. By, by mainly Morpheus. <laughs> We take a moment for group meditation before we leave for the show. Driving into downtown, you learn ways to get around the traffic. We're here, Parish, Parish nightclub in Austin, Texas, ready to uh, go in and set up the show. So let's take a little trip upstairs. Getting ready for a sold out show tonight with Fortunate Youth and Stick Figure. You do live painting with the band. Oh, yeah. okay. so usually, if there's room on stage, we'll get to the stage. All right, let's see what happens. If you haven't been to Austin, Texas, you might want to visit. It's cool. This was one of the first places I actually traveled out of town to come live paint. It's full of music, culture, and art everywhere you look. And the show begins. People start falling in. Ma'am, can you tell us what you think about the live art at the show. It's always been a great time. Like he, he throws it down on stage. Are you Roaming around on 6th Street after a show is always a great place to see something exciting. Alright, we're here, dinner time. Let's see what we got. Went to sleep maybe like four hours ago. Sleep. Now we need to drive down to Dallas, Texas. Finding time in places like this and places to uh, just be at peace, be away from any noise or distraction has really helped me uh, build my meditation practice on the road and utilize it. It's um, really awesome to wake up and be able to have this opportunity, so I'm grateful for the earth. Throughout the country and we go to a new show every day for periods of time, sometimes five, six days a week. And the, con the schedule gets really hectic. I had to get out, bro. Drive to Dallas from Austin, successful. All right, here we go. Loading into the gas monkey. Time to set up. We got to move the barriers somewhere. God bless the gas monkey. Keeping these artists from starving. We love you. Yeah. Thank you. About paying someone $300 to play Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. And we were joking around with them, like, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do it. Now we need the money, whatever. Uh, stick figures joking around. And then these rich douchebags get mad that they haven't even decided yet and come up to them and say, You let my kids go up there and they have a little fun the I'm going to give you money and get your band up the fucking stage. 
bullshit like that. Like they got enough money to just fucking make whatever they want happen. And so that's where we're at right now. It's pretty interesting. We'll see what happens. I was like, dude, like, fuck. About they were like, dude, what do we have to do to get things going? I'm like, dude, you just like disrespect our band. You need to understand these guys are here working. We came around a tour bus. We're on tour. These guys are working. Like, they don't have. To... He's like, dude, just for a couple minutes. I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter. Like, you just. The bottom line is, you just disrespected the band just now. You know what I mean? And like, I'm like, they're upset. They don't want to play the show. And they're like, dude, what do we have to do to make this show happen? Then? And then it just happened that we all <clears throat> ended up in the tour bus together. So it worked out perfectly to all take a moment just to breathe and relax together. It was really key. Grateful for that. I uh, lead a lot of guided meditations through, and I've been doing it for years. And one thing I always tell people is meditation isn't something you do. It's just a mind state you get that natural rhythm of breath. trying to talk me down $1,800 worth of my time, but be reasonable and negotiate a little bit, but don't sell yourself half of what you say it's worth. That's for sure. It's a great night on tour. Fortunate Youth and Stick Figure always killing it. West killed it at the booth. Late night drawing sesh. Here at my dad's whereabouts, where we are going to stay the night in Dallas. At God knows what time it is 3 30 in the morning. And we're about to uh, come and knock on the door of this beautiful house where he's staying and uh, say hello. So let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Got it. Set up. Rain or no rain. The pre-show. What the fuck am I gonna paint tonight? I don't know. Let's figure it out. I love my job. The best part of my job is making people happy. Life is taking over. Feels like it's meant to be. And it feels like... I do a lot of meditation for the show. And uh, that's where I get a lot of inspiration for the art and visions and things. And I try to think about that, just like taking time to do like meditation. Yeah, be mindful. That's where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember walking, walking up to you, uh, I had some beers that time. And, uh, I could like feel the beers like fog in my mind when I was talking to you, so I was like, oh, anyway, I just remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but now it's like, you know, I, I rarely drink, man. Yeah. I just feel like that's, that's it. Just, I know.
Coco the dog. Coco, we want to ask you some questions about what you think about live painting in the reggae scene. Do you need sauce? Yeah. What kind hot of sauce? sauce? Hot sauce, yes. Wes likes sauce. A hot cut. We finished the show. San Antonio. Rock the house. They killed it tonight. Killed. So good. I don't know if you're getting this, but we just got a flash flood. <laughs> we just got a flash flood warning on our phones for this area. How's your morning going? Alright, how are you? Great. Did you have a seat? No, you have a good night. Six something in the morning. They're all about to wake up. And I'm gonna sleep. <laughs>